The two major political parties, the opposition National Democratic Congress and the ruling New Patriotic Party have intensified their campaigns in the highly contested Asuasi parliamentary race. The competition is fierce between the incumbent Member of Parliament, Alaji Mohamed Muntaka Mubarak, NDC, and Manaf Ibrahim, NPP. Both candidates have extended their campaigns late into the night, with the NDC striving to retain a seat it has held for over 20 years, while the NPP is aiming to make history by capturing it. Channel 1 News' Ashanti Regional Correspondent Hafiz Tijani explores the dynamics of the Aswasi constituency. The Aswasi constituency is a well-known stronghold of the opposition National Democratic Congress. It has a densely populated voter base of over 100,000 people. Surrounded by strong new patriotic party constituencies like Menshia South, Menshia North, Subin, Oforikrom, Kwabri East, and Ejiso, Aswansi stands out politically. In the following reports, we explore the cultural diversity, the voting patterns, and also provide some analysis. Join me on this journey. The Aswansi constituency is situated in the Asakoremampo municipality, which was carved out of the Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly in 2012. It is predominantly Muslim, with many residents hailing from northern Ghana, while Akans make up the minority population. The area is densely populated, with most people engaged in the informal sector. <laughs> But the same thing is that the people who are living in the world are living in the world. They 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 are living in the world. The constituency is home to one of the largest slums in the Ashanti region. Many of its youths work as head porters and scrap dealers facing frequent harassment from police who accuse them of dealing in stolen scrap metal. Accommodation is a serious issue with many sleeping in overcrowded wooden structures under Poor conditions. One major activity the youth of the Aswansi constituency love most is football, but they lack the facilities or infrastructure to exhibit these talents. This is one of the astroturfs being constructed, and work has stalled. There are four other stalled astroturf projects within the constituency, and this has been a concern for the youth here. When you look at the football that we produce from this constituency, we can boast of the likes of Golden Boy Abdul Razak, we have Malam Yaya, we have Ibrahim Tonku, Ibrahim Sandy, the list goes on. And even currently, we can boast of two players from the current Black Stars. That's Ali Dusseidu and then Salisu Mohammed. But I can tell you that the current MPP government, one area that they've done very well is the construction of astroturfs across the country. But as far as the constituency, has not benefited from these facilities. The Aswansi constituency has 15 electoral areas and 215 polling stations. Voting patterns within these areas are largely divided with Muslim-dominated areas typically aligning with the National Democratic Congress and Akan-dominated areas leaning towards the new patriotic party. In the 2016 presidential and parliamentary elections, the MPP set an ambitious target of winning all 47 seats in the Ashanti region, with Aswansi being a key focus. The party 
fielded Alhaji Ali Dusedu, former municipal chief executive for the Asokorimampo Municipal Assembly, as its parliamentary candidate. According to data from the Channel One Research Department, in the 2016 presidential election, MPP's Nana Adodankwa Akufado received 39,363 votes, representing 53.95%, compared to NDC's John Dramani Mahama, who garnered 33,108 votes, 45.38%. In the parliamentary election, Alhaji Mutaka of the NDC secured 39,095 votes, 53.57%, while Alhaji Ali Dusedu of the MPP received 33,490 votes, representing 45.89%, with a difference of over 5,000 votes in favor of Mutaka. Despite some gains in the presidential race for the MPP, Asawansi remained an NDC stronghold. In the 2020 elections, the MPP allowed Alhaji Ali Dusedu to run unopposed as their parliamentary candidate, which led to some apathy among party supporters. In the presidential election, NDC's John Dramani Mahama garnered 47,460 votes, representing 57.16%, while MPP's Nana Akufado polled 35,000 214 votes, 42.41%. In the parliamentary race, Alhaji Mutaka Mubarak increased his margin, winning 61,659 votes, 66.36%, compared to Alhaji Ali Dusedu's 31,256 votes, 33.64%. The difference in the 2020 parliamentary election exceeded 30,000 votes, with many attributing the MPP's poor performance to dissatisfaction within the party over the imposed candidacy. The MPP is fielding Manaf Ibrahim, a former director of political affairs at the presidency from 2017 to 2019 as its parliamentary candidate. Manaf, who is also a farmer, has held political positions and is regarded by many as a philanthropist and a youth leader with deep commitment to the Aswasi constituency. Honorable Manaf Ibrahim is putting the interests of the people ahead and he's, he's going to tackle all this inside one. So we believe that he's going to wrestle the seat. It's not just about facing Muntaka. It's about the constituents. The sovereignty lies in them. And they are going to cast their ballot wisely for Honorable Manaf to become the member of parliament. However, the National Democratic Congress, NDC, insists that Manaf Ibrahim is not a viable option for the Aswansi constituency. Threats that the candidate of the MPP posed in 2020 was quite significant. In the end, the good works of the Member of Parliament and by extension, the good works of the party, the NDC, made sure that uh, that candidate was beaten resoundingly. In fact, the margin was close to 21,000. And uh, we feel we are on course with the programs we have instituted and with the message we are selling to the constituents, we are on course to even widen this margin a bit further. The NDC believes Mutaka Mubarak's record of service speaks for itself and that he should be given another opportunity to continue his work in the constituency. Conversely, the MPP argues that Aswansi needs new leadership and fresh ideas and that Manaf Ibrahim is the right person to bring change to the constituency. 20, at least 20 years, he has done something. But we need to change and see the capabilities so that someday we can do comparison. Now he has nobody for us to compare it so that we say he has done well. So apart from the candidates of the two major political parties who are seen as the dominant forces in the Aswansi parliamentary elections, the smaller political parties are also presenting their candidates. The people, the mandate is with the people. So it's all about the, your message. If the people understand your message, it doesn't matter whoever you are going to, to contest with. But though I've admitted contesting Muntaka is not an easy, easy task, but as for the youth and the way I'm being with them, you know, I think 
I can make, I can, I can win the elections. Uh, some of the political parties now say any panel, and so see any bini say, say Obi betua ba, as a mecha or mum, mecha or mum and toma, mecha or mum sika, mecha cha ne mama or mum intino. Oh, call rans, I bini di anis or muti is a wee. What stand the MP na na say wee campaign na eh mum ma yeske, mum ma yeske. But ya mum mati ase se. Ya nyo o ma o mo ba, no ma be blai bo se ko tu aba ma me. Na four years time no. Wo tu aba ni ma ni wea no wa yera. Four years time no wa san aba. No wa be ma 100 cedis, 200 cedis, no wa chen to ma no wa chen mo. Wo sa to ma ni wea na san. En no nti na constituency nda so te se se de etie na a no development no. But ya ma LPG ya ma o ma te ase se. Ye ba ye be ye ejuma. Leaders from the traditional religious and civil society sectors in Aswanse have initiated dialogue within the political parties to ensure a peaceful election. The president of the Council of Zongo Chiefs in the Ashanti region, Naba Musa Akambonga, rejects claims that Aswanse is a political hotspot, emphasizing that ongoing engagements are aimed at easing tensions. I disagree with those who talk Aswanse constituency as a hotspot. I agree there should be misunderstandings among the political parties, especially NDC and MPP. But anytime there is a misunderstanding, the elders in the community, the chiefs and the imams, when we talk to them, they calm down. This time, we are arranging for a peace walk. By the weekend, we fix the date. All the political parties will wear their T-shirts, party T-shirts. Some chiefs and imams will join them in the peace walk. Both parties have officially launched their campaigns and are actively engaging with voters with a particular focus on nine-time rallies as they push for victory in the upcoming parliamentary elections. The two major political parties, the NDC and the MPP, have always dominated parliamentary elections in the Aswansi constituency. This year's election is seen by many as one that will be very tough. A contest between the incumbent member of parliament, Al-Hadi Mohamed Mutaka Mubarak, and Manaf Ibrahim of the MPP on your election bureau on Channel 1 TV. My name is Hafiz Tijani from the Aswansi constituency.